Unit 1 A Love Coach's Game Plan Read about it. Contact us. Name, Aner. Email, aneratlison1234 at gmail.com. Subject, a desperate request for advice from Dr. Amo. Message, my girlfriend Greta gave me a handmade Valentine's Day card that delighted me. Unfortunately, the holiday slipped my mind this year, and I didn't buy her any roses. What's worse, when I tried to make a last-minute reservation to take her out for a candlelit dinner, getting a table proved impossible. Greta is crushed. She assumes I do not truly love her since I spent neither time nor money on our celebrations. I know it's my fault. What can I do to win her back and show her I really adore her? I'm looking forward to your reply. Aner from Iceland. Valentine's Day and Values by Dr. Amo, February 16, 2021. Let me begin with a Valentine's Day shout out to all my readers. I hope your day was overflowing with the love and sweet romance you deserve. Of course, I also hope you singles still searching for true love indulged yourselves on this occasion. After all, until you meet Mr. or Miss Wright, you are the special someone in your life, and without doubt, you deserve to be spoiled like royalty. What I'm about to say next is aimed at assisting our friend from Iceland in winning back his love, but it definitely applies to everyone. I've changed the couple's names to protect their privacy. Tom messed things up with Mary, and he really regrets it. Unfortunately, there's no way to change the past until some mad genius invents a time machine. The best result Tom can hope for in this situation is to try to mend their damaged relations and move forward. First, I have to say, this case illustrates how a romantic event, Valentine's Day, has been turned into a range of commercial activities in many people's minds. It's a pity. Tom clearly adores Mary, but she's acting like he doesn't care because he didn't prove it by giving her any gifts. Fair or not, that's how Mary sees it. Obviously, Mary feels hurt, so Tom needs to find a way to earn back her affections. It's not until Tom actually does something that she will put the hurt feelings behind her. Perhaps Mary is being rather shallow, but let's face it, Valentine's Day is equated with big business. There is an expectation that people will spend money and businesses are waiting to cash in on it. Flower shops can triple the price of roses since there will be a rush for them. Restaurants offering lover's night dinners can charge several times the cost of a comparable meal on a normal night. Outside the door will be long lines of people who are willing to pay for these special things. You can decide yourself whether to play this commercial game or not. Remember, no matter what advertisements say, it's best to do whatever celebrations suit you and your partner. What's important is that you talk about it beforehand and agree. If you make a mistake, like Tom did, a sincere apology is always the first step. Next, discuss your expectations, assure your partner he or she is the only one for you, and promise to do better next time. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to my blog in case you ever come down with love fever. <laughs>